What's up YouTube, this is Electroshack and today we'll be rooting this T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S3. Let's get right in and go into settings, scroll down to developer options and make sure that your USB debugging is enabled um, because if you don't have it enabled then um, there's the, the, the rooting won't be as smooth. Alright, so after you have that done, go ahead and plug in your phone to the USB cable and pull up your phone onto your computer. And download and um, download the link in the description. It is going to be the it's going to be a dot zip. Just extract it. Open up that folder, and there should be four files in there. Um, go ahead and transfer superuser.zip into the phone. I've already done it, but I'll do it again. Make sure it's to the root of the storage. I'm just going to copy and replace because it doesn't really. Um... All right, so. After we have that, we're going to boot our phone into download mode, which is um, volume down, home, and power until the phone cuts off, and then we let go of the power. So I'm just going to wait for the phone to cut off. Alright, so now, as soon as, it, as soon as it cuts off, I can go ahead and let go of my power, and still continue to hold the home and the volume button. And now the warning comes up and there's two options, volume up and volume down. We want to go volume up. Alright, now after you have that, your phone's going to be in download mode. Now after you do this, you can put your phone down and go ahead and shift your focus into the computer. Now on the computer, the same folder that we downloaded earlier has Odin 1.85. Right click on it and go ahead and do run as administrator. Uh, when you open it, you get this little interface. Um, it, it should say Epic 4G on top. That doesn't really matter. Um, but what you want to do is make sure that this, this box right here is yellow, and it should it should say COM and any number like COM 13, COM 24. Mine it has COM 4 on it, and make sure it's yellow. Make sure there's a message down here that says added, and then untick auto reboot. Go ahead and click on PDA. And click on Recovery Galaxy S3 US Canada .tar. That's in the same folder uh, that we downloaded earlier. Click Start. It's going to be a process about 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, it'll go into Recovery. Uh, it's going to say uh, Reset and then Pass. See how it said that? Now on the phone, it's supposed to re your phone is supposed to be restarting right now, but because I've already rooted um, and because this process already happened on my phone, I'm just going to go ahead and um, go ahead and take the battery out of the back um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the battery out of the back and then reboot it and re put the battery back in so uh, I can go ahead and disconnect the cable so you take the battery out you take the battery out and wait about five to ten seconds to kinda let everything go ahead uh, and drain um, as far as the memory so now what we do is we put the battery back in um, I'm gonna put the back cover back on here alright now I'm gonna boot into clockwork mode which is volume up home and power until volume up home and power until the Galaxy S3 splash screen comes on as soon as I see that I'm, I am letting go of the power button so I see that now I can let go of the power button and continue to hold the home and the volume up button Okay, so now we have installed Clockwork Mod 5.5.04, and and you have to have this. If you have like a little Android with a like um, with the guts of um, the ice cream sandwich, then you've done it wrong. And go ahead and repeat the steps. Um, so go ahead and do that. And if not, then you're into the screen. So what, do you have a couple of options here? There's a lot um, when it comes to Clockwork Mod, but for now we just need to go to Install from Zipcar. And to go up and down, we need to use the volume rockers. Up makes it go up and down rocker makes it go down and the select key is power you can't touch anything in this clockwork mod there are touch based recoveries but um, this is what seems to be working perfectly fine so we can go ahead and click on install from zip card and then what we need to do is choose zip from internal memory internal SD card so we click on that and now it's gonna read the SD card and now it's gonna have this menu uh, we, we took the superuser.zip 
uh, we transported it earlier in the video and go ahead and click on it what you're gonna do come up with is a screen that's gonna say like a bunch of no's and until you go down to yes install super user dot zip so go ahead and select it now it'll do this it'll do its thing and, and once it's done um, it should be in the top so what we need to do is go down to go back and then reboot system now so what it'll do is it's gonna reboot back into um, basic Android now we're just gonna wait for it to boot up while I'm waiting for this to boot up is if you enjoy the music that's going on in the background please do hit up my friend's channel it's go, uh, DJ Ghosty XL um, the link will be in the description alright so so we do have um, we go back into the phone and as you can see that it doesn't factory restore anything everything's as, as it was all we need to do is go into uh, we get this new app called Super SU as you can see it looks like a little hashtag right here and go ahead and click on it and basically it's going to ask you for an update mine is already updated because I updated it uh, earlier today as I was practicing the root uh, the root rather um, but yeah guys that's how you root uh, look out for my other videos I've got some unboxings coming up uh, I've got some more reviews coming up um, and definitely I'll be having some ROM reviews now that I have rooted it but uh, yeah that's how you do it and uh, like rate comment and subscribe thank you